I invented the trap. Oh, the pimps and killers love me. Hey. And hello and what is up, friends? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the biggest indoor plant that I have grown so far. This plant is in a 10 gallon fabric pot and I vegged this plant for exactly eight weeks. And just in case you haven't seen the other videos, I should mention that I have not defoliated this plant whatsoever. From the very start, the only time that I touched this plant was when I put it underneath the trellis net and I did a little bit of defoliating. But since I have not touched it at all. Now, as far as lights, I am using the Mars Hydro FC 8000 again because I did get really good results out of the last harvest. Now, even though for this grow, I am getting some pretty good results here towards the end as far as the size of the buds and how much bud there is on this plant and the density of it. However, I just wished it would have been with a better strain, something a little bit less leafy, but I can't really complain since a lot of the buds seem to be about the same size from one side of the plant all the way to the other. I can't really see a difference between these buds right here in the middle and the buds that are all the way on the edge of the plant, which they would get a little bit less light like this one here. Now I do see smaller buds throughout like smaller parts of the plant like here and there. They're all kind of like scattered through and I'm kind of debating on whether to harvest those or just to leave them. Now, one thing that I am leaving, well, actually two things that I will be leaving is the Mars Hydro lights on this section of the room, which is the FCE 1000 with the add on lights, of course. And I would also be leaving the one that I currently use out of all the strains that I have in the garden for this season, this fruity pebble and the white slushy were the ones that impressed me the most. So I'm definitely reverting this fruity pebbles here because I want to keep this around. Now, as for this peanut butter breath, this will probably be the last time I will grow this strain and I will probably move on to the new strains that we have in the gardens that just came in, which by the way, if you want to see how those are doing and then you want to see the final weights on everything that's in the garden, be sure to hit that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss out on those videos. Now, usually I would remove a lot of these big fan leaves, especially if they have no trichomes in them. However, like I mentioned earlier, this strain is so leafy that by the time I would remove everything that has no trichome in it, I might have just well do a wet trim. Which reminds me, what do you guys do more? Do you do wet trim or do you do dry trim? Or do you do a little bit of both? Let me know down in the comments as I make sure to write everyone back. And remember, if you're having issues in your grow and need somebody to kind of guide you from start to finish, be sure to check out my Patreon. Link will be in the description below. There, you'll find a community of growers that share their success stories and you get to learn from me one on one.
And now friends, if you made it to the end of this video, here's the sneak peek of what's coming up next. And now friends, on this run, I will be doing things a little bit different, but you guys are going to see that coming up here in the next couple of weeks. But all right, friends, I'm not going to take any more of your time because I want you to watch the rest of my videos. So until next time, this is Grass and Class signing out. Peace.